All right, everybody. Uh, today I'm going to start weathering up uh, 2601, and I'm going to try and copy uh, off the photograph that I have here. This is the only good one that I found that's weathered up. So I'm gonna, we'll see what happens when I try and copy this one. Couldn't seem to find the actual 2601 on the uh, website. So I'm going to go off this picture and we'll see how it turns out. And if you notice, you know, if you look at the cab windows, and then when you look at the cab windows on the model, you can see something that's incorrect as you see. There's only one little window, two big windows. And then when you look back down here again, you see two little windows. So this model is incorrect, apparently, by the looks of it. Same for the front windshield. If you look at the front windshield on this one, you can see where it dips down. Oh well. Anywho. Okay, so my Osprey and Ruddy Gervonian is getting set to be weathered up. We'll return shortly. Okay, we're back. So here's the picture. It didn't quite turn out exactly like how I wanted to do it. But I think I got it close enough. So here's the finished locomotive. Still got to take the tape off the windows yet. This is all powder, so I'll finish the powders for now. I'm probably going to go over it with an airbrush after a while, after I do some more on the other ones. You know, seeing as how the top is all dolled out now, it's not as shiny. So, next time you'll see this, you'll see this one running with the uh, two clean ones for right now because I'm just going to take my time doing these. As tomorrow I got another decoder installation to do. Another uh, TCS well sound going in to an SD70M. And it will be the Southern Pacific, which is uh, patched out for uh, Union Pacific. So that's the locomotive. That'll be getting sound, so stay tuned for that one. Alright guys, let me know what you think. Please leave a comment. Hopefully everybody likes this one. Alright, bye for now.